Hello everybody, Deadheads here, and the Expedition update came out. Uh, now, in the dev stream where they showed this update in Shattered Peak, I'm gonna be honest, I was looking more forward for this update than Shattered Peak. While Shattered Peak added a lot of great stuff, Expeditions was just, I don't know, it was a concept that always looked a lot more interesting thing, blah, interesting to me. And uh, I'm very happy to say that the wait was well worth it. This update is almost perfect. It added a lot of really cool things that I am um, happier in the game. Uh, it's kind of gotten me re-addicted to playing it as it made the issue of not having enough raiders no more. I've been seeing a lot more raids on my bases since this update because the incentives to raid have never been bigger. Basically, you as you raid and go along the track, you can collect enhancements, which is probably something I liked more. <laughs> Now, enhancements, the thing about them is basically they're like pseudo perks, half mini perks with different tiers of, rarity, of rarity that are also consumable. Basically, they just give you little buffs that the higher the rarity, the stronger the buff. And it really allows for more experimentation with your actual perks. Like there's ones that make your weapon stronger, melee stronger, or just simple quality of life like a big loot magnetization. It really is neat. I think my favorite probably has to be the cluster one. Uh, I played around with it, and uh, Cluster Shot is actually so cool. Uh, it goes really well with the Demolition Cannon, because what happens is you shoot the cannon, and uh, as soon as the projectile hits something, it has like a half second before it explodes. But when it hits something, it also explodes, which just... It's a little cool, alright? <laughs> so I think the amount of experimentation for the Raider now better matches that of the Builder. You see, with the Builder, you get to craft these intricate designs, and... You know, there's just a lot more experimentation allowed there than Builder, but with these enhancements, it really does close the gap more, allowing for more fun and a way to make a raid never feel the same because, let's face it, a lot of builds, when people build towards the meta, a lot of uh, different builds can really feel the same. And uh, I've been saying it for a while now, meet your maker needed rewards to work towards other than resources and they finally added it through the season track through the season track you can get more enhancements which i already talked about are a good thing and some cosmetics all right i know i sound like a a, a loser going like we need more cosmetics but come on we needed more cosmetics and uh this gladly gives you an earnable way to get cosmetics through raiding so yeah i think that's kind of a good thing <laughs> This is just something that I've been asking out for a while, and I'm just so happy we have earnable cosmetics. Very happy about that. Now, for the builder's side, because this isn't just a rating update, they added stuff for builders. Uh, the modifications for traps, they nerfed incinerator, incinerator bleh, so it doesn't kill you instantly. But I think that was a good trade off for a mod that is spontaneous. Uh, spontaneous, I've already seen used in very evil ways. Basically, it makes your corrosive cube just shoots globs of lava that just stay on the floor or acid or whatever. You know, it won't kill you instantly, but if you stand on it, you will die. And uh, I've already seen this used in evil ways to just make the floor deadly, but not insta kill deadly. And uh, that way, you can still have the harvester walk over it. While at the same time the player can't and I don't know I've seen it's very annoying as a raider But not enough to not be fun. All right It's still very fun to now have to bob and weave and dodge these new like acid spots on the wall uh, And then that's not the only thing these are the most unique arguments I have seen on units yet for example the slowing field for the the wasps can now give them a sort of support option. See, wasps projectiles are really easy to avoid. They're not really that much of a threat. However, now having them as like a backline support by slowing the raider, I can already think of some very interesting evil ways that could be implemented. And I've already seen a couple evil ways that has been implemented. Uh, that and the homing shot for the enforcers makes enforcers also a lot more fun to play against it's not just sidestep their shot now you have to actually think like okay well if he has homing shot i'm kind of screwed unless i kill him or find cover it, it needs you to actively find cover which is something that wasn't really necessary for enforcers it was for ravagers if you were close but now it makes enforcers a lot more deadly and i think that's pretty neat and it's it's not like broken or anything and then now you can have people rush you with something other than warmongers and assassins now with the new ravager argument which just makes them ready to attack there's less of a wind-up time when they spot you so now you can put them they're more 
with that argument, they can actually put on a front line instead of just your melee guys on the front line, which is pretty neat for the builders. So I know even builders are having a lot of fun with this update, but the fact that it improved all across the board, it improved building, you know, just by adding more stuff to play with. But now that raiders have that level of stuff to play with, I feel like the main issue of not having enough raiders is not going to be anymore. Because there's a lot of people who just built and they didn't exactly raid, which I couldn't really blame them. But even though I'm primarily a raider. And then I also think the expeditions greatly enhances the newly introduced difficulty system. Basically, they switched it to have like the skull ratings that actually change depending on how many kills. So even if your map would be marked as brutal, if it's not getting as many kills, it would actually go down to dangerous because, well, I mean, if you're not killing anyone, it's not really that brutal, is it? It must not be that hard. And then, of course, quality life stuff, specifically loot magnetization is something I've like quietly wanted for a while now. Uh, this is just because a lot of times when you destroy a tomb, all the resources would like fall in a cursive cube and it's like, sorry buddy, you're shit out of luck, you can't get it. But now with this loot magnetization, you can't get it. Uh, just a little bug where it orbits you sometimes, but I'll take that if it means we get loot magnetization. Very good, but it wasn't perfect. There were a couple weird bugs and just odd stuff introduced that I just kind of wanted to talk about. For example, when you're going down the expedition track, damn, this hair is... What is this hair doing? For example, when you're actually collecting rewards on the expedition track, sometimes just to collect a reward, it'll load for like five full seconds before it gives it to you. I think that's probably just an optimization thing, but I hope they fix it too because it, it's just annoying. <laughs> After like the 20th time that happened, you know, it's just like, it's like, can we fix this already? You know what I mean? Another one is Impaler's got a mod that give them death touch. So if you run into the spikes, you'll die. I think it's good overall, but if they're not careful, the impaler might eclipse and power creep the pistons, which is not good. Now don't get me wrong, the impaler can't act as a wall, but it can act as a wall that closes behind you, as opposed to a piston can be a wall in front of you. I don't know, I just feel like they're, they're like one buff away from power creeping the piston, and I feel like because the costs are so different, we should probably try and avoid that. It hasn't happened yet, just something to give them a heads up on. And another thing is, while I did say the expeditions make the new difficulty enhanced, it's not doing its job. I've played a lot of normal maps that have these outposts that are a lot harder than ones I've found in Brutal, if that makes sense. Like, I'll play Brutal, and I'll get these maps that I go through with zero to three deaths, and then I remember playing Normal, and there's a map that literally took me, like, like eight to twelve deaths before I finally beat it. One that took me 17, I think, on Normal. So I think something is either an issue with the difficulty or the expeditions where you're actually getting harder maps in Normal and easier maps in Brutal. Uh, if you're watching this video, I would take advantage of that and play as much Brutal as you can because the rewards are still higher over there despite the maps seemingly feeling easier. And then another one which is a half complaint is uh, they buffed the Demolition Cannon. I don't know why. Uh, no, don't get me wrong. I think I've made it pretty clear in my videos that Demolition Cannon is probably my favorite weapon in the game. That thing is fun and I really feel like I've mastered the art of using it and all the different techs around it. And... Uh, they gave it a buff. I already felt like it was probably like one of the strongest weapons in the game and they gave it another ammo slot. Like I said, I'm not complaining because I use that, but at the same time, I don't know, it felt a little unfair. Eh, that's just a minor gripe. Overall, this update was great. If you haven't played the game in a while, I would suggest at least checking it out. Uh, I guarantee you'll probably play for like a day or two or three. Uh, or more obviously I'm probably gonna be playing this update for a while because I liked the game <laughs> even when it was Boring I still liked the game because that's just how I am. All right I, If I like a game, I just play it a lot. I mean don't just look how many hours I have in Dota 2 Okay, you think I'd be bored of that, but I'm not but no, uh, this game is group Yeah, uh, you know this update is great if you're if you're thinking about coming back I would definitely at least check out this update. I understand if you're still waiting for more content uh, Like for me, I'm still waiting for a new weapon it's been a while since we got one. I'm hoping they add one soon. But yeah, if you're considering coming back, definitely check out this update. It's pretty fun. What did you guys think of the update? I thought it was great. If you don't like it, let me know in the comments. If you do like it, let me know in the comments. And yeah, thank you.
Subscribe to Dead Hats or you'll die tomorrow.